The barbecues and beach days that usually come with Labor Day overshadowed once again this year as the Delta variant spreads. Welcome to WJZ News at 11 and to those streaming on CBS in Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Max McGee. Despite warnings from the CDC wanting unvaccinated people not to travel, more people were on the booth compared to last year, and it couldn't come at a worse time. Over the Memorial Day weekend, new COVID cases averaged about 18,000 a day. Now that number has jumped to more than 150,000 a day. So with people traveling, there's growing concern. Another surge is on the horizon. In WJZ's Live tonight, Amy Kawada is breaking down the travel numbers here in Maryland and what doctors are saying about them. Amy. Vic and Max, we caught up with the drivers today, and while some decided to stay local over the weekend, TSA numbers show many people decided to catch flights out of town. And health experts warn these holiday celebrations could lead to a surge in COVID-19 numbers. It's the last summer hurrah. Well, this Labor Day, I'm taking the kids to the county fair. We had actually just gotten back from vacation. As concerns grow over the Delta variant and the rise in COVID cases, both here in Maryland and nationwide. Life is starting to seem normal again, so I would kind of hate for us to take a step backwards. Well, I don't have much fear. I really don't because um, I'm doing all the right things, I think. Here in Maryland, more than 1,000 new COVID cases were reported Monday, but the statewide positivity rate is still below 5%. But we're still dealing with uh, the unvaccinated folks, which account for most of our hospitalizations and deaths. On Meet the Press Sunday, Governor Hogan highlighted the continued push to get the shot in more arms. We have, have vaccinated 81% of all the people uh, that are eligible. But just because Maryland is doing well on the vaccination front, the same can't be said for other states. Well, what we are concerned about is the simple fact is travel may increase that potential positivity rate in our state. Despite warnings from the CDC, it appears many people decided to stick to their travel plans over the holiday weekend. The TSA estimates about three and a half million travelers passed through airports nationwide on Friday and Saturday alone, more than doubling last year's number. While health officials keep a close eye on key COVID metrics in the coming weeks, people like Sabrina Ingleton say they're taking extra precautions. I, just, I mean, I would encourage people just to stay as vigilant as you can um, because I, don't, I really don't think we're out of the woods yet. And doctors recommend unvaccinated travelers to get tested when you return home from your trip. And even if you still are fully vaccinated, they recommend you to continue keeping a close eye on your symptoms. Reporting live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.